Hello guys, my name is Yuji Rao. This is my first tutorial on YouTube. So today I will show a basic guide for a Photoshop. So first open the file. For opening a file, the shortcut key is Ctrl plus O. It is saying in the right side of your pop-up menu. I'm going to take a pic. Randomly, I take this one. Now, my first topic is about the guide is a layer. For writing the Photoshop, you must get the knowledge about the layer. So, this is called the layer. You can take the new layer, choose two, we have one in here. You can write, you can take many layers and delete two by this just to delete two. Now, you can write their name. I write the red. The and the I take a brush tool, brush tool B, brush tool. The shortcut key for take a brush tool is a B on your keyboard. Now, I take a soft brush from there and press enter. Now I resize the size from this, and you can set their hardness. I hardness to zero. Okay, let's. Now I take a red color, your red color, and brush it. Okay. Now I take the second layer and write yellow. Enter. Now I take the brush uh, yellow. and paint it over here now you see I have painted two colors uh, at the main screen you see the two colors on the image now I select the red one and take an eraser E I select the red one and I start rubbing the yellow color you look I can't erase them, but I select the red color and then I erase the red color. Is it ready? Now I take the yellow color and I start erasing the red color. You see, I can't erase it, but I add the yellow. So now I think you get what is what is called the layer. So. So my second guide is about the patching tool. Patching tool means you, the patch tool is used to patch a dark spot, a pimple, or a, a overexposed photo, or a pimple on a skin. So take a patch tool from spot healing brush. The shortcut key to, to take a patch tool or a spot healing brush tool is a J on or your keyboard. So I take the sport healing brush tool. The shortcut key is take the sport healing brush tool is J on your keyboard. Now I take hardness is zero and make it hundred percent resizing. I don't know it. Just as per the setting you need. Now I click on the Sports and you see there are these apparent. They are making a normal screen. Now I take a zoom tool. The shortcut key is for taking zoom tool. Is control plus auto. Control plus. Yeah. Now if you want to drag the image, press space button and drag your mouse you see you are in your image now I can take the brush tool a the spot healing tool now I just click on it <coughs> you see you these are disappearing perfectly yeah you 
something with the leather. Brush tool size you can resize the size of your brush is by cross up the in the right side of your feet. Click just disappearing this this one this one this one this one. Yeah. So now you get how to fetch the dark spot and uh, simple. third fix is about the color the splash the fact so first thing you need to make this layer is normal layer so double click on it and press ok ok now make a duplicate layer of this layer the shortcut key for duplicate this layer is control plus J on the keyboard now I write the name here black and white Sorry. now I give the a black and white effect so go to image adjustment and black and white and now now listen to give this a uh, color splash effect you need to know about the mask layer this is called the mask layer just select this black and white layer and click on the mask layer you see there is a mask layer on this layer now take a brush tool the shortcut key for a brush tool is a B on a keyboard now take a pure black brush and resize the size by the cursor key right side on the keyboard like this now for zooming the pick is control plus plus key of your numeric keyboard you see control plus plus and for dragging press the space bar and drag the mouse over the image now take a feathered brush I take a feather brush harness 20 now I reset the brush and paint it over the here you see this is a very good nice effect pretty much a little bit more time but this is a very nice effect now zoom in now you see there the outside eyes plus so take white for switching the color is X button you see I press the X white color is gone up and black color press X button to switch the color I take the white color now I again painted on this so this color is disappearing because the layer mask is removed okay control plus minus and you can see this is a 
cool color splash effect okay so my fourth tip is about shifting a image to a different background first of all you need the image to shift to a different background a background and an image this is my image that i shift to a different background so first i take a quick selection tool control quick selection tool the shortcut key for taking this is a w on the your keyboard now gently brush over the portion you need to shift to a different background this is a very cool tool given in cs photoshop cc and cs6 mainly i use the cc and now i select this text hmm. So this is a very cool tool to refine the edge. You can you see the smart radius and the radius is 8.9 but you can see the changes in the image. Just rub the area where you want the hair extending in the black color. Okay. Now, to duplicate the layer, to get cut this layer, select this layer first and then press Ctrl plus J from the keyboard. Now you see I have the image, I move it from the V, move to the shortcut key for taking move to is Ctrl, simple V key. Now I open my background image. So first go to file, open, uh, now this is my image and I am shifting it to uh, this background layer, now this is where it should stand and you can resize it, control plus T to take the resize scale option and press the shift button for good resize from for four sides now. done for image expose a good effect on the background you must decrease its brightness and contrast because it's too high contrast and brightness for the image and give a whole image effect so by this you can shift the background uh, image to a different background okay hello this is my fifth and the final trick of this tutorial name is cool effect in a few minutes so first of all you need a image that you want to give a effect I use this one now take go to a la add layer add effect now take a solid color and make it too dark like this one you can write there as a color code 00051p and now ok done solid layer again now take the color code is 56 56 beating 80 ok 
go exclude the blue image and multiply second one now match it some glossy now the final effects is i want to tell take once again the solid color and make it a bloody red and make it a linear color soft light effect and for giving the vintage to it just one simple step go to the guardian and take instead of yellow take black and style linear to change it a grid eye and reverse the layer simply and scale it down and here the cool effect in two minutes so if you really like the video subscribe like or comment